So we're back with Love and Hip Hop Atlanta Season 6, Episode 5. I know this review is super late, but I'm coming, it's coming now. Um, so first we get the guys meeting up all together. It's like even, it's like Scrappy, Jock, Kirk, even Ernest was there. And we get introduced to this new guy named Tango. Scripted scene number one right off the bat. Tango is um, is one of Rod's girls' ex ex boyfriend, ex man. So a little bit later on in the show, he talked to her. Well, I'll get to that later. But anyway, we got Stevie J, Jock, Scrappy, Ernest. Um, they basically going down the line talking about everybody's situation except Ernest. Um, they like, oh, Scrappy not engaged. He not got no wife. I mean. Yeah, Scrappy. Stevie haven't seen Jocelyn in like seven months until a couple days ago. Um, they tell about Kirk's situation. Apparently, this is some of their first time hearing it. Scrappy was the only one being real, real about it. He's like, so is it your baby or is it ain't? Like, just cut to the chase. Um, Ernest is like, oh, man, Jock, you need... Jock, uh, Ernest is trying to, like, get him to fix things with his wife. You know, Ernest old, so he trying to get them together. Him, Rashida and Kirk, that is. Um, Jock talking about some, oh, I slept with Jasmine too, so it could be mine. And then, uh, Scrappy's like, hold on, wait a minute. So you use a condom, you use a condom, you use a condom, but she can end up pregnant. What's going on? Then we see, uh, Tango, Tango tells us he's Kiana's ex, uh, because, um, somehow they brought up her. Oh, Jock. Jock said that Car, Jock was telling everything. So he just said that Carly said that. Jock or Kirk also slept with Kiana. And uh, they like, who is Kiana? Well, Scrappy, like, who's Kiana now? Like, Scrappy was the most, like, he's the most animated one in this scene. I liked him a lot in this scene. Kirk says they're separated. Him and Rashid are separated. Ernest is like, no, 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 y'all need to fix that. So, yeah, that, that was the end of that scene, pretty much. They just talked about everybody, all the man situation. Then we go to Jocelyn's scene. She meets up with lovely Mimi at the. I don't know where they met up, actually. But anyway, Mimi tells Jocelyn... Well, M M Jocelyn says she went to the glam shop one time, and Mimi did her nails, and she liked her nails. So that, that's she liked Mimi to do her nails. Mimi says she quit the glam shop, and now she wants to open up her own shop, and she wants Jocelyn to come and be like her VIP guest or something like that. And Jocelyn just turned this whole thing around. All Mimi said was that she wanted Jocelyn to come and get her nails done so it would be like a famous person there. And Jocelyn's like, oh, well, I don't got no friends here. I don't got no friends. Everybody hate me. I'm like, what did that have to do with what lovely Mimi was talking about? But anyway, nonetheless, Mimi says, I hung out with two people that you might know, Tommy and Dom. And Jocelyn's like, oh, no, Tommy, you need to watch her. She didn't really say nothing about Dom. And... Uh, she said, why does she hate you? No, she said she has mug shots. I'm like, Jocelyn, you got mug shots too, but whatever. Mimi says, um, why do they hate you? Jocelyn says, because I had sex with both of them. And after I had sex with them, they hate me. I'm like, yeah, that's not why. And then this is just a scripted scene number two, because I know lovely Mimi saw this show. So you mean to tell me you haven't seen this show? You don't know all of what's going on? That's fake. Scripted scene number two of this episode. And the second scene. Two scripted scenes and two different scenes. The first two, nonetheless. Um, Jocelyn started talking about all the girls pretty much, but then she says, Lovely Mimi, I want you to do a video with me. So she wants, she tells about this video for Baby Daddy. She wrote the song called Baby Daddy while she's been pregnant about, not really about Stevie, but about girls coming together and empowering each other, something like that. Lovely Mimi wants to do it, and Jocelyn says she wants all the girls there, so if she get all of them, Lovely Mimi can ask them to come and get their nails done, and then Jocelyn tried to make a joke to him about some, some of them need their nails done, and I'm just like, that's not really an insult, because ain't that why you go get your nails done, because you need them done? That was confusing, but anyway, I don't know. Um, then we go to a Jock and Carly scene, where we meet Shooter. They're on a double date. Car Jock take Carly on a double date with Carly's friend, who is Sierra. And Sierra's husband, Shooter. The most awkward. Carly Red said it best when she said the shortest, most awkward double date in history. 
Shooter to basically it went like this. Shooter started telling them about how they having problems in their marriage. Carly started telling them about Rashida and Kirk's situation, but she didn't say their names this time. Maybe she maybe Tammy convinced her to stop telling their business. And she tells them about Jock. Jock says you're trying to throw me under the bus. Then uh Shooter agrees with Jock. His wife is like, no, you need to shut up. She talks about her husband. She talks to Carly says, Y'all just need to have sex. The girl, the wife says, oh, we haven't did that because he don't know how to do this, that, and the other. And she started telling them about their sex life. And Shooter got mad and left. They got in an argument. And then the wife got up like, no, you always want to leave. You don't leave. You don't leave. It was a big fight. And that's the end of that, pretty much. Um, then we go to... Who else? Carly talks to Rashida. Oh, what... During this scene, in a confessional, Sierra told us that the reason why she's so how she is because when she was 15, she got pregnant and she got kicked out the house. And I'm confused. I'm like, okay, so you got kicked out when you was 15 and pregnant. Did your mama, like, kick you out while you were pregnant or let you have a baby? Like, that's weird. So she threw her mama under the bus with that one. Um, then we see Jocelyn meet up with Melissa. I like Melissa. I wish she was more on the show. Like, all these new people get more, way more TV time that I don't like. And Melissa, who I do like, get nothing. Like, I would rather see more about her. She own her own business. Let's let her have some shine. But anyway, um, Jocelyn, Melissa, Jocelyn tells Melissa about the baby daddy video. And 